Greg, iodine deficiency is the world's most prevalent yet easily preventable cause of brain damage in the world. Uh, the number of countries where iodine deficiency is a public health problem was halved over the past decade. However, an estimated 25 countries are still iodine deficient. How do we end iodine deficiency and what is GAIN doing about it? So, very exciting progress as you've pointed out. Countries have uh, improved their overall uh, iodine health uh, and I think we're on the verge of being able to say that globally we could control iodine deficiency disorders. Uh, we might not be able to eliminate every single case but we're getting uh, very close. 25 countries now only uh, have uh, insufficient intakes of iodine. What has GAME been doing about it? Well, we have been working with UNICEF primarily and, and governments and the food industry to ensure that uh, the more vulnerable populations in these uh, different countries, we've been working in 14 uh, countries that have iodine uh, uh, intakes that are low, to ensure that salt is properly iodized, because salt is universally consumed. So we work on the supply side, work with the food industry to ensure they know how to iodize that salt, that they can test to make sure it's the right levels of iodine, and we work with the government to ensure they know how to regulate that. And uh, I think we're seeing a lot of exciting progress, which of course is leading to improved educability, um, improved intelligence, and preventing miscarriages, and, and a lot of other very, very important uh, health outcomes. And what are the, our greatest successes in salt iodization? So we've been working in these uh, 14 countries since 2009. And last year, we went back to those countries to do a number of endline surveys to see what has been the progress we've made since we started. And uh, overall, good progress. You know, some countries didn't see progress, and a number of countries saw a lot of progress. We were able to uh, calculate that 120 million children, ages 6 months to 15 years of age, now have sustainable access to iodine through iodized salt. And uh, we know that that is improving uh, overall IQ. It's improving educability and their opportunities in life. Uh, and we also were able to calculate the costs of doing this. It ranged from five cents per child per year to 20 cents uh, per child per year, which is phenomenal. I mean, it's very cheap. Uh, and you know, probably, arguably, the cheapest development intervention out there. Mm -hmm. So um, we're very excited to be able to work in this space where we see real impact. We know that it's not just nutrition, it's people's livelihoods, it's people's education. So we're excited and we're hoping that maybe in the next five to ten years we can uh, end IDD at the, at the global level and at the population level. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.